on this week's Engaging Marketeer, I want to talk about how people are really, really boring with the way they advertise their business and the way they talk about what they do. And if you keep boring people to death, they are not going to use you. They are not going to refer to you. They are not going to come up and ask how you can help them within their business because you are just boring the crap out of them. Now, I've been to a lot of networking meetings. I've been to a lot of events where people stand up and they talk about what they do and how they do it and who they're looking for sometimes. And I went to one just the other night and every single person, one after the other, did pretty much the same thing. Hi, I'm John. I'm an accountant. I help people with their tax returns. If you're looking for an accountant to help you with your tax returns, then come and speak to me. I can talk to you afterwards. And then it moved on to the next person. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm a financial advisor and I help people with their financial advice. Come and talk to me if you want some help with your financial advice. And so on and so forth. And it was the most boring thing I never bloody heard in my entire life. And then it came to me. And funnily enough, I didn't do this. I could have stood up and I could have said, Hi, my name's Darren. I'm a web designer. I help people with their websites. I help people with their online marketing, with their SEO, their PPC and their social media. And I can give you a website and SEO and help you rank on Google and all of that stuff. Come and talk to me if you're interested. But obviously I didn't do that because that would have been shit. That would have been shit and nobody would have been interested and nobody would have listened. Because the long and short of it is nobody wants a website. Nobody wants a website. Nobody wants SEO. Nobody wants social media marketing. Nobody wants pay-per-click. They don't want that. No, they want what comes after it. They want what it does for them. Nobody wants a fucking website. They want more business, more leads. But then they don't really want more leads, if I'm honest with you. Because you as a business owner, you working in a business, you don't want more leads because that's going to mean you've got to do more work. And quite frankly, we are inherently lazy as a species and we don't want to do more work. So if I talked about that, it wouldn't really work that well. No. People want, well, what do they want? They want more money. Well, they, yes, they do want more money, but if you have more money, then what's the point of more money if you don't have something to do with it? If you don't have some way of spending your time with that money, if you're working nine to five and working 12 hour days or whatever it may be, then that's not going to work for you either. So you can't focus on that. No. What I actually did was I stood up and I said, bear in mind, this is Engage Web, digital marketing agency. We do help people with websites and we do help people with marketing. I didn't say any of that. I stood up and I said, I am looking for business owners who want to become filthy rich after selling their businesses for millions. Now, that got people's attention. That got people listening because they thought, I don't even know what this guy does. I don't know who he is or what he does. But quite frankly, I would like to be filthy rich. I would like to sell my business for millions. So that grabbed people's attention. I then went on and gave four examples of businesses, some of which they have heard of, who have sold their business. So I talked about a garden centre client of ours who has just sold their business to a competitor and the they have now retired to the good life after working with us for several years and in the first 12 months made 1.3 million in revenue through their website. I talked about a underfloor heating company that worked with us automating their online leads and sales processes and then sold to a builder's merchant that everybody has heard of for around 17 million pounds and they're now doing it again with another business. I talked about a hot air balloon operator who worked with us for many years and then sold their business to a very big brand. You may have heard of them, founded by Richard Branson. Uh, and then I talked about a business office, serviced office company, who most people have not heard of, which is strange because I thought they would have. Most people have not heard of them, but they've definitely heard of the company they sold to. Uh, Regis, Regis offices, I'm sure you've heard of those. I talked about these four examples of businesses that had worked with us 
and had then sold their business. And I finished it up by asking for, I'm looking for other business owners, the next business owner who wants to become filthy rich by scaling their business with automated online sales and leads processes so that they can sell it for millions and retire to do whatever it is they want to do with their time. And that's Darren from Engage Web. We don't build websites, we build businesses. Yeah, that's a little bit corny, but I like that as a line. And it was only at the very end that I mentioned who I was or mentioned anything about websites. Because as pointed out, nobody gives a shit about a website. Nobody cares about a website. Nobody wants a website. Anybody can get a website for free with Wix. Or you can pay a guy down the pub for 50 quid and he'll do it for you. Or give him a couple of beers and he'll build you a website. It'll be shit. Don't get me wrong, it'll be shit, but it will be your website. So if you go into one of these networking meetings, one of these things where you stand up and you introduce who you are and what you do, and you talk about what you do, you are going to be exactly the same as every bugger else. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a sod what you do. If you're an accountant and you talk about accounting, why the fuck are you doing that? Because nobody gives a shit. If you're a financial advisor and you talk about financial advice, that's not going to work either. If you are a solicitor and you talk about legal stuff, nobody cares. And if you are a web designer, well, you get the point. There's absolutely no point in doing this. You need to look at what happens after they work with you. You need to look at the reason why they work with you. What is it they actually want? What is it your target clients, your target customers, your ideal clients, your ideal customers, the ones you've really helped, the ones that have benefited from working with you the most, what did they get out of it? What were the results at the end? And I don't mean they got a website or they got their tax return done. No, because everybody else the same as you does that. What were the actual results? So that when you go to these events, when you stand up and talk about your business and who you're looking for, for and the kind of things you want to get out of a networking meeting that you actually do stand out, that people remember what you say, that people want to speak to you afterwards because they think, wow, that was different. I really want to find out more about that. I want them to help me because clearly they've helped other people in exactly the way I want to be helped. So stop talking about bloody websites because nobody gives a shit. So I hope that's been helpful, slightly ranty, but there we go. Uh, leave me a review if it has. Leave me some comments on the YouTube video if you're watching it on YouTube. And I will catch you on the next podcast.